Hey guys, it's Ariana, and I'm actually so excited for today's video. I'm finally going to be filming a vinyl collection. I feel like I have enough now to film one. I've been collecting since the end of July, beginning of August, and I'm just really excited to film this because I watched so many vinyl collections on YouTube. So my records are organized in chronological order from when I got them. So yeah. Also, I do have a vinyl account, so if you want to see like actual pictures of my records, you can go follow that. It's just Ariana Nikki vinyl. So my first record is Sleeping with Sirens. Let's cheers to this. This wasn't the first one I bought, but it was the first one I received. I bought this in a store in Detroit. No idea what it's called. This is one of the albums that got me to the music scene, so I really wanted to get this on vinyl. This is the pressing. I really like it because it matches with the artwork. So next I have the Amity Affliction. This could be Heartbreak. I pre-ordered this when they put up the pre-order. This is the clear with silver marble. It didn't, the silver didn't even go on. And I was looking at other people's pressings on Instagram and I literally only saw one that actually had silver on it. But yeah, this is the clear and silver one. Just with barely any silver. Like you can kind of see it, but not really. Oh my life, this is why I don't film YouTube videos. It's also a gatefold and has this beautiful picture with Joel. I really like their work for this album. So my next record is Sorty Noises, Joy Departed, and I picked this up at their show and I got it signed by two of the band members. I don't know their names of the people in the band, but it was like the singer and the guitarist, I think. If you're not into this band, I really recommend you check out the songs Art School Wannabe and Using. Those are like the most basic ones, but they're really good. And this pressing is so pretty. It's one of my favorite records. Like, oh my gosh, it's just the cloudy clear with royal blue and yellow splatter. So this wouldn't be a vinyl collection if I didn't have Pierce the Veil in it. So this is Pierce the Veil's Cloud at the Sky. I ordered this off Merch Now. In Canada, ordering off Merch Now was so expensive because you have to pay like a lot for shipping and then you have to pay a lot for um, the exchange rate. And this is just the pink pressing that was for breast cancer. So like a dollar from this got donated to breast cancer. So next I have Pierce the Veil's A Flare for the Dramatic. My favorite Pierce the Veil album. It's so good, oh my God. Also, this pressing is so pretty. It's the green and white marble and it's literally so beautiful. Oh my God. So my next vinyl is Capsizes Thanks in My Veins. Literally such a solid album. I picked this up at their show after I saw them live and I got Daniel to sign it, the lead singer. If you're gonna listen to something off this, listen to the angst in my veins. <sighs> so good. This is also gatefold and has all the lyrics inside. And this is half green, half clear split. And I think this was a tour exclusive pressing. I don't really know. So this next album is Citizen Everybody's Going to Heaven. I literally bought this with only knowing one song and it's Numb Yourself. And I bought this because it was $9 off Urban Outfitters. And I was like, you know what? I know one song, $9 is a pretty good price for a record. So I just bought it. I've only spun this once, so I don't really know any songs off it still, but it has like these really cool pictures at the back. I really like this. This pressing is also really cool too. The only thing I hate about this record is the packaging. It's so annoying. So the next record I have is Boston Manor's Suede. Suede? I don't know how to say that. I just butchered that. Wow, it probably sounds so stupid. This is their EP. It's literally amazing. I picked this up at their show. I wanted to buy Be Nothing, which is their album that came out, but they didn't have it. So I just picked up the EP because I love all the songs on here anyways. Trapped Nerve is the best one on here though, in my opinion. And it's just on pink vinyl, but the back has a picture on it because it's not playable and it's really pretty. Love the aesthetic of this. So this next record I also picked up at the same show and this is like Pacific's self-titled EP. I wanted to buy their full length, but I didn't have enough money so I just bought their EP. It's just like a clear transparent blue color and I love it so much. It's so pretty, oh my God. I have yet to spin this though, so I should probably do that sometime soon. So the next record I have is Trophy Eyes' Chemical Miracle. <laughs> I've literally talked about this album so much on my channel. I'm probably gonna film a review on it because one of my top favorite releases of this year. Um, I picked this up on Merch Now. I don't think this pressing is available anymore, but they still have the album and the back looks like this. The aesthetic of the album is so pretty. Literally every single song on this album is amazing. I don't know what this pressing is called, but it's really pretty. The next album I have is Badlands by Halsey. I wasn't planning on picking this up anytime soon, but it was an HMV and they had it there and I was like, yeah, well, I'm not gonna pick it up. I'll pick it up sometime soon because it's not my favorite album, but I do really enjoy it. But then I saw on the front that it said it was the blue pressing and I was like, what? This is the UK pressing and I was like, how did this get here? Not gonna ask questions, so I just bought it. We're getting close to the end here, but the next album I own is That's the Spirit by Brave Me the Horizon. I love how it's so plain at the front and then you open it and it's like the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life. Not my favorite Bring the Horizon release, but it's still a pretty solid release. This is just on black vinyl. I don't know why I took this out. This is literally my only black vinyl I have. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this, but it also has a really pretty lyric book and all the songs are in different colors and I think it's actually amazing. 
I really want to pick up the rest of Green Horizons albums on vinyl, but I kind of want to find the colored pressings. I don't know if I mentioned, but I ordered that on Amazon. So next, this is the last record I have for now. I'm trying to put myself on a band because I've bought so many recently. And it's Monsters in the Closet by Mayday Parade. Literally one of the other albums that got me to the music scene. I used to be so obsessed with this. I literally listened to this album on repeat every single day. So I was like, I need to pick this up on vinyl. It was also on sale. So I was like, yes. Not by that, it was like $3 off, but that's still a sale. Are they like 12 through 15 and Sorry Not Sorry? Those weren't my favorites when I used to listen to the album before, but they're my new favorites. This one is really hard to get out. I don't know why, but um, it's literally like stuck. Like I'm literally trying so hard. It's not gonna come out, but it's the gold and white pressing. I think this might be the only pressing of this. I have no clue. Why is this so problematic? Yeah, that was my final collection. I hope it wasn't too long and boring, but I really like watching this video, so I wanted to film one. I forgot to mention, but I'll probably be doing monthly updates of what I get in my collection, so look out for those. It's gonna be a lot time. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed to my channel already, be sure to subscribe. I upload every Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I love you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to smile, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.